When most people create contact forms in Divi, here's what they do. So they come over here and then we want to add our rows. So in this row, we're going to add our forms. So I'm gonna search for contact and then click on contact form. All right, so as you can see, this is the basic form, but did you know that there's more features behind what you're seeing right now on the screen? So let me show you how. Now over here, we can click this plus button to add a new field. So let's say this needs to be say a phone number. So I'm just gonna say phone number like that. And here's what we can do. I can also add a new field here, the title, and we're gonna call this phone number as well. But of course you can name it whatever you want. And then next, I'm gonna come over here to field option. Now, this is where things get very exciting. So since this is a phone number, you can specify your maximum length. So let's say this is uh, 11. Our input field here, this, since this is a phone number, is going to be input field. And then over here on allowed symbols, we are going to now add numbers only. Now, do you see how flexible this is? So we are making sure that on the phone number, you cannot enter any other inputs except numbers only zero to nine and over here we can say maximum length and here we have our minimum length so again i can set this to uh, 11. now this is going to depend on your let's say your country how many numbers are there in the phone number all right so let's say i have that now what i can do is to come back over here to the top click on this button here and i can drag this and place it wherever I want. But not only do we have this type of option. Now, let me show you something else that's very exciting. If I click on this plus button here, I can also specify a field. So I'm just gonna call this choose one. And then I'm just gonna name the, uh, the title as well. Now on the uh, field options here, this is where I'm gonna click on this drop down here and choose what I need. So I am going to select a drop down because the, that what works with our example here. Now here we have options that we can add to make our drop down work. So I'm going to say option one. So I can just continue on adding all my um, settings here. So this is going to be option two. And let's say the last one here is option three. Now, whatever inputs you're going to add in here is going to depend on um, what your website is about and what the form is about. So check this out. Over here, it says field required. So if you want people to fill in this field, you can just say yes to that and they have to choose that. All right, so this is our drop down. I'm gonna go back again. And now I can drag and drop this wherever I want, just like that. So we have several options here. Now, if we go to uh, our field, the field type, the field options. If we click on this drop down, you notice that we have check boxes, we have radio buttons, we also have a text area, email field. And we can also add our specific inputs, like for example here, I chose the phone number. So now once you have this, all you have to do is to now come back over here and you also want to add your success message. So this could be, thank you for mm -hmm. filling in the form, we'll get back to you in a short while, whatever it is. And then here is our submit button. This is where you can give it a specific uh, title. Now, further down here, we can also redirect this form to a specific page. So this could be like a thank you page or a page that gives the user more information because they've filled in this form. So as you can see, this form is very, very uh, powerful. Now I'm just gonna go in there and delete this. So this is also a very good example because if you wanna delete anything, you can just come over here and click on this little icon. And now we have our form. So, oh, one more thing. We also have spam protection. So if you want to uh, protect your, your form from spam, you can use recapture and you can just add your account information over here. But if you don't want to use this and you want to use this uh, basic capture where it has a calculator, like for example here, it says zero plus 12. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's what it is there on the uh, right. Okay, and also you can uh, add your email here. So this is where you add your email address. Now, once you're done with that, you can just hit save and let's save one more time. And let's take a quick look at this. So I'm going to say exit visual builder. And there we go. So we have our form. So here, remember we added... Um, uh, choose one and so if I click on this drop down so you can choose your option like that and pretty much your phone your form is good now on the phone number remember we only chose numbers so if I try to enter letters here this wouldn't work it would give us an error when I tried to submit it so what I'm going to have here is just uh, just the numbers like that and you can see here if I try to enter more I can't I can just add 11 so that's pretty much all I can add, which is pretty cool.
So pretty much this is my quick tip on how to use um, contact forms in Divi. Don't just use your basic forms, but go ahead, make them more complex. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.